Hi guys, how are you? Happy Saturday. It's Samantha coming to you live from my treatment room. Today I want to share with you secrets of how I stay young because most people, I don't know if you were on Facebook the other day, but I posted on there that I just turned 39 years young and um, everybody's like, most people tag me for in my late um, 20s or early 30s, which I always love. I love when I go out and they're like, can I see your ID? I'm like, absolutely. You may see my ID. It's, it's a compliment. Um, but I get asked a lot, like, what do you do for your skin? Because years ago when I was, in, when I was pregnant and having babies, I was suffering from acne. So those of you who have known me for years probably remember when my skin was all broken out and when I had a lot of issues with that. Um, over the years, I've kind of healed that through changes in my diet and just with good skincare. And so the secret to good skin is um, having the right products that work for your skin type. Because there's so many options out there. And I mean, I'm an esthetician. I understand skin, I understand skincare, but when I walk in Ulta and Sephora, even I get overwhelmed. I don't even know where to start, what to even look for. I mean, I can't imagine what it's like for you guys when you walk in one of those stores. I mean, it's got to be overwhelming, so I can't imagine. So I think that's the key because this year I'm really starting to get um, more into speaking and really reaching people on a broader scale because I, I want to help people. I really want everyone, I want you guys to understand how to take care of your skin correctly because that really truly is the key. It's about what you're putting on your skin every single morning and every single night. I'm an esthetician. I give facials for a living. I don't get facials that often. So it's not because I'm getting facials on a regular basis. I will tell you that right now. Yes, I was fortunate to have good genes or I still have good genes. My grandmas both looked really great in their 80s. Um, both my grandpas did too. My mom looks really good. My dad looks good. Um, you know, I feel like for luckily I have that going for me, but I also have been really paying attention and understanding what I'm putting on my skin. Yes, my skincare routine has changed because what I put on my skin at 23, 24 is completely different from what I'm putting on my skin now. As I've grown and changed, I've altered my skincare to kind of go with the seasons and hormonal fluctuations. So like when I was breaking out, I was using more um, acne-like products to help calm my skin. I was also doing a lot more with my diet to really fix and help treat my skin from the inside out because that's the other thing. What you're eating, what you're putting in your body really impacts your skin. So if you're eating a lot of crap, a lot of sugar, a lot of processed foods, a lot of dairy, you're going to have more problems with your skin because it's going to affect your gut, your digestion, and it can even impact your liver. Now we're starting to even see studies about liver function and how a hormonal shift can stress the liver to the point where it makes your skin start breaking out. So it's all these factors put together that is really, really causing a lot of these skin problems that I'm seeing in my treatment room and hearing from people when I do talks and when I do events People come to me and they ask me, like, I don't even know where to start. So I think that's the key. That's number one. I want you guys to start wherever you are today. Just start. You know, it's never too late. You can always change your skin. And because you're going to start washing your face and putting moisturizer on morning and night, you're going to see changes. You're going to see good improvement. You're going to see changes. And even when I do have clients that come into my treatment room, if they're not taking care of their skin morning or and night, I just start them simple, a cleanser and moisturizer, and that's it. It doesn't have to be complicated because if you're not even in a routine, you're not going to even do a complicated skincare program. So that's the other thing. When you go to some of these stores, they're like, oh, you need the entire line. That's not true. You don't. You just need something to get you started so that way you're used to washing and moisturizing morning and night. I will say three things because morning you need an SPF moisturizer to keep your skin protected from the sun. Even on dreary days, you need SPF because the sun can penetrate through the clouds. Um, and then on, you know, at night, you need a good heavier night cream to kind of keep your skin hydrated while you sleep. But that's it. You know, you just have to do something both morning and night. And it can be as simple as a cleanser and moisturizer. I mean, my routine is a lot more complex, but also I'm in the field and I understand what works. So I can walk you through my routine. Morning, I cleanse every 
second or third day, I do a gommage to exfoliate and get rid of the dead skin, dead cell buildup. Um, and then I put on my, my serum. I, I use a vitamin C organic serum. And then I put on my SPF and a facial oil. And then same thing at night. I wash my face and I, I don't scrub at night. I usually scrub in the morning just because it's in my shower and I just grab it and do it then. Um, or I shouldn't even say scrub. I hate that word. I use a gommage or an enzyme because they're more gentle and light on the skin. Um, the other, at, so at night I wash my face. I put on my other vitamin C serum because I'm really right now I'm currently trying to brighten my skin and help some of the pigmentation and sunspots that I've accumulated over the years. And then I put on my brightening cream and I put my facial oil on. I am currently doing a microcurrent series on my skin to help lift because I want to look younger and I want to stay younger. Um, and that uses electromagnetic current to teach your facial muscles to lift and tighten. There is a new technique called facial yoga, which I want to I want to learn more about so I can help my clients understand how to, you know, really work your facial muscles um, at home. Because we all go to the a lot of you go to the gym, you lift weights, you work on your body, but we can't do that for our face. So the cool thing is now if you're doing facial yoga, you are working your facial muscles and helping to teach them to lift and tighten as well. So it's a great new workout. Um, if you Google it, there's probably tons of YouTube videos about how to do it. Um, like I said, I haven't, I want to take a formal class at one of the trade shows about facial yoga so that's why I haven't really done a lot of research I want to learn more hands-on and really understand or you know actually physically take a class with somebody who's an expert so that way I know more and can really share with you guys how to do it properly because I'm sure as we all know you go on YouTube yes there's a lot of great information but there's also a lot of false information so you really have to learn how to navigate through those systems so um, I'm trying to think what else and that's about it like that's really the basics I can't remember the last time I had a facial I don't get them regularly I know I need to and my goal for 2018 is to start but as long as I'm doing everything at home you know I feel like it's helping so I would say you know if you're not doing anything to your skin just get started go out, get a cleanser, a moisturizer, and you know, you wanna kind of understand how your skin feels. If it's dry, get a creamy cleanser. If it's oilier, I would say a foamy or a gel-based one. You have to be careful though because some of them can be a little more drying. And the other cool thing is you have me as a resource. So if you're out shopping and you don't understand what, you know, you, I, a lot of you don't understand ingredients and it's so complex. So if you guys do have a question, you can always comment in the comment section below or you can email me. Take a picture with your phone and shoot me an email, Samantha at SkinDeepIL.com. I'm happy to help you guys because this is becoming a problem for a lot of people. You know, there's just, you're, you're overwhelmed and I get it. There's just so much information out there. So use my expert brain and let me help you customize a home care program for yourself so that way you can start to look and feel good and continue to slow down the aging process as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed my tip of the day. If you guys have any questions about skincare or about aging or about you know, just ingredients or products in general, just reach out to me. I'm here for you guys and I wanna help you. Also, um, hop on my website so you can get on my weekly newsletter. It comes out every Monday. I'm doing lots of fun tips and trends and you know, just I just try and keep it light and fun and, you know, try and find something fun for you guys. You can sign up for that on my website, SkinDeepIL.com, and you can also go on there and book a facial, or I do free consultations, so you guys are always welcome to schedule that and come on in for that as well. So thank you guys again for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will be here Tuesday for another skin tip of the day. Have a great day.